13. 14 Pro Series True Tone Repair Adapter Fix the no true tone problem of 13 Pro, 13 PM, 14 Pro and 14 PM, the cause by replacing screen. 1. There is a limit on the writing times of 13, 14 Pro Series, usually 3-5 times. If it failed to write, do not continue writing, or the screen may be damaged. 2. Due to the screen verification mechanism, if the original screen of 14 PM is Samsung, it can also use LG screen, but not all the LG screens are compatible. 3. When operate the first time, please take a photo of the read original screen data to prevent misoperation. There is a detailed operation instruction on the True Tone Repair interface, please read before operation. 4. The version of V1, S Pro should know less than V1.62. 14 screen of this 14 Pro Max has been replaced. There is no true tone now. But a pop-up window. Shut down the phone. Step 1. Read the original screen data. Buckle the original screen on the corresponding socket of the adapter. Click, read, and save the original screen data. Step 2. Write the original screen data into the new screen. Remove the installed screen and buckle it on the adapter. Click, open, and select the corresponding data of the original screen. Click, write, and a prompt window will pop up. Since we are repairing the screen of 14 p.m., there will be model selection. After confirming the screen model, writing into the data. For other models, click, write, and the true tone data will be written. When it shows, true tone write success. It means that the screen data has been written completely. Step 3. Remove the original touch IC, and install it on the new screen. To solve the problem of screen pop-up window. When removing the original screen to reserve the touch IC, it is recommended to use a hot air gun. To take apart the touch IC of the new screen and keep the screen, it is recommended to grind with a grinder. Step 4. Install in mobile phone for testing. The true tone of this mobile phone has recovered. No pop-up window. Above is the operation of repairing true tone, and pop-up window with original screen. The screen of this 14 Pro Max has been replaced. And the touch IC has been moved to the new screen. But there is still no true tone and pop-up window. Turn off the phone and remove the screen. Buckle it on the corresponding port of the adapter. Step 1. Read the data of the new screen, which has been copied with touch IC. Click, read, to read the screen data. Step 2. Write the touch IC data of the original screen to the new screen. Click, other, click, IC fix. Since we are repairing the screen of 14 p.m., there will be model selection. After confirming the screen model, writing into the data. For other models, click, write, and the true tone data will be written. When it shows, true tone write success. It means that the screen data has been written completely. Step 3. Install in mobile phone for testing. The true tone of this mobile phone has recovered. Note, if there is the original screen, it is recommended to operate with option 1. To avoid losing the original screen data by misoperation. There is no original screen. After installing a new screen, there is no true tone but a pop-up window. Now let's repair the true tone without the original screen with the one S Pro. Step 1. Retrieve original data. 
mobile phone system version is 1516.1.2, unbind with the non-removal unbind function of V1S Pro. Please check the operation video through JCID official YouTube link. No limits on the system version. Users need to dismantle the phone to take out the NAND first before unbinding. Operation methods are as follows. Method 1. For BGA110 NAND, unbind with P13 or V1S Pro, plus BGA110 module. Method 2. For BGA315 NAND, unbind with V1S Pro, plus BGA315 module. Operation method of NAND unbind. Please check the operation video through JCID official YouTube link. Step 2. Write the cloud data to the new screen. Connect the mobile phone to V1S Pro with an Apple USB cable. Click Trust on the phone. Click Fix. V1S Pro will capture the cloud data automatically. Turn off the phone and remove the screen. Buckle the screen on the corresponding port of the adapter. Click Right. Since we are repairing the screen of 14 pm, there will be model selection. After confirming the screen model, writing into the data. For other models, click Right, and the True Tone data will be written. When it shows True Tone Write Success, it indicates that the screen data has been written completely. Step 3. Install in mobile phone for testing. Install the screen back on the phone. Boot up the phone to check. The True Tone has recovered. Since there is no original touch IC, a pop-up window will show up. Above is the operation of repairing True Tone without original screen. FAQ 1. Still no True Tone after writing data in original screen. Solutions 1. There are two codes, which will affect the True Tone function. One is the Display SN, and the other is the Ambient Light code. 2. Carefully confirm whether the written Display SN is original. 3. Carefully confirm whether the distance photosensitive FPC and the ambient light code are original or not. If not, users can replace with the JSID distance photosensitive FPC. FAQ 2 failed to adjust the auto lightness after repairing. Solution The screen data is incomplete. We can read the data of a complete screen and write it into a new screen. It is recommended to modify the corresponding data before writing. After all, the display IC has written time limit, we should cherish every time when writing. FAQ 3, failed to write true tone. Solution, there is a limit on the writing times of screen, usually 3-5 times. If the writing times exceeded, it would fail to be written and be prompted as failed to write.